These are definitely fresh. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sneaker Tweaker and today we have the performance review on the New Balance Fresh Foam BB. If any of you guys know, these shoes are essentially Zach Levine's signature shoe with New Balance. It doesn't have his name attached to it or anything, but he's the one who worked hand in hand with their design team in order to pretty much develop this shoe. If you guys are also aware of New Balance's running line, Fresh Foam is a prominent foam that they use in their running shoes. And honestly, these shoes were great. I would say as far as New Balance goes and their 2023 shoes so far, this is my favorite performers as far as that goes. Starting off with the traction of the shoe and just the foundation of it all, the pattern in itself is a multi-directional and what looks like kind of radial spot patterns goes all throughout the outsole. It honestly performed really, really well. It was super squeaky. Now I know squeak doesn't have anything to do with performance, but it does squeak nice and loud. On top of that, it was able to bite through dust and whatever dust it does collect is super easy to wipe off. The only issue I had with the traction is that it's not so durable. So I don't know if this would be the best shoe to take outdoors because I only played in these indoors and there's already parts of the tread that's kind of ripping off. So I don't know how well these would work outdoors. It probably wouldn't last too long, but every other aspect of the traction worked really well. For the traction, I would rate these a nine out of 10. Moving on to the cushion, as the name states, is fresh foam. And honestly, this foam felt awesome. You get a nice plush ride from honestly heel to toe, and you do get a nice slight bounce. The heel especially offers a lot of compression. And I don't know if you guys can see the compression marks, but you do get a lot of compression in the heel. On top of that, as I mentioned, the cushion just goes throughout the whole shoe. You do sacrifice a little court feel, but for me, honestly, it does keep my legs fresh, pun intended. And for me, that's a big part of what makes a shoe great, is just keeping my legs fresh, having nice cushion, so that I can play a little longer. Whereas firmer and lower to the ground cushions, I'm not the biggest fan of. This, this was perfect for me. I'm going to give the cushion a 10 out of 10. The fit on the Fresh Foam BBs is true to size. You do get a nice one-to-one -one fit and it does fit a little snug initially, but with a short amount of break in time, it honestly breaks in super nicely and it feels really nice overall. There's no pinching or hurting. I'd give the fit a nine out of 10. Just Honestly, that little break in time is the only thing. Other than that, it works great. The support on these shoes is another highlight. It kept your foot nice and secure in place. Great lockdown. Overall, no complaints. Even with the thinner materials, it was really honestly great. I have no complaints. You did get a little bit of heel movement in your right foot, but with some break in time, that completely went away for me and I had no, no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna give the support a nine out of 10. Last but not least, we have the materials. The materials are super lightweight. They're made of New Balance's, what's called Fitweave technology. And it fe honestly feels like textile. You do also have bits of mesh, as you can see on the heel and on the medial side of the shoe. It's all did the job that it was meant to do. It's not the most premium materials, but it is lightweight, it's breathable, and it worked great. You do also have this TPU heel counter, and overall, everything on the shoe works together to make it perform the way it does, which is honestly a great performer. As for New Balance, the two-way V4 hasn't come out, so I would say right now, this one, for me, takes the cake with their basketball shoes. I would take these, honestly, over the Kawhi 3s. It's not a big difference, but the differences that are there makes me prefer these shoes over those. As for my final rating, I would give the New Balance Fresh from BB a 9 out of 10. These are honestly great shoes. They do have some slight drawbacks like the traction durability. Other than that, they work really, really great. And honestly, they feel decently light. Kind of, I guess we can, uh, we can measure that really quickly and see really how light they are. 
So I'm a size nine and for a size nine, these are about 12.9 ounces, which is kind of within average weight to slightly lighter and really just felt like feathers on my feet. I had no complaints, worked really great, great shoe, great performer. And if you guys do want to get it, I'll leave a link down below. These do retail for $130. So they are, I would say, more on the lower end of the spectrum. A lot of shoes nowadays are 150 plus. So these are great pickups for 130 and I'm sure at some point they will go on sale. So, so be on the lookout, but check the description box down below if you guys are wanting to get these. If there are any other shoes you guys would like me to review, please comment down below. Again, thank you for all the support you guys give us and please continue to do everything you guys do. We really appreciate it. It really helps our channel grow and lets us produce better and better content in the future. Again, if there are any other shoes you guys would like us to review, comment down below for more content like this. Please like, subscribe and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.